The reason why we invited you guys on the show is to bust some myths mm. about certain animals. Um, let me just, uh, Cabello went out to uh, Alexandra, I think, last week and uh, spoke to a couple of people, especially about owls, because there are certain misconceptions mm. uh, about owls. And owls have been in the news, obviously, because of the, the rat problem. Yes. They introduced owl boxes and owls to certain communities to, to catch the rats and to help with the problem. And this is what some people had to say about Owls. Thanks, Cabello, for getting us these Vox Pops, dude. I don't understand why government has brought us owls. Back home in Zimbabwe, it's known that whenever there's an owl outside the house, something bad is about to happen. Either someone is about to die. And I don't understand why government has brought us things like owls. They could have provided either sprays or something else. Even kids run away from owls. And just by looking at the owls, it makes me scared. Even little kids run away from it. At least maybe I told a spray or something. Uh, this guy as well, similar sentiments about owls. With owls, especially in our community, we, we believe in one thing, that when you see an owl, you're being bewitched. Especially if you can see an owl in your yard. So, Timba, I want to start with you. That is the myth, that, that owls have some mystical powers and people are afraid of owls. Why is that? I think it's because of uh, the stories that has been brought down through generations. Yeah. You'll find that most people get told things about owls. Like the same thing that mm. uh, the other lady was saying, that mm. uh, with owls, whenever they see an owl around, someone is going to pass away in, in your family. Now, the question you should ask yourself is, most of the time, you're never going to see an owl on your roof. Yeah. The neighbor is going to see it. Yes. So if you don't see it, that means you, uh, you're not going to have anyone dying in your family. Exactly. Yeah. So now, basically, <laughs> it's something that you've been told yeah. and you haven't proven it. Exactly. Yeah. And it's nearly impossible. And what what puzzles me sometimes is people with these superstitions are often also religious. So I, I, I often wonder, you know, who then made the owl? Why would the owl have certain evil powers that other animals... It's it's just a bird. Yes, it is. It's just a bird. It's just Normally a bird. you'll find it during the night time because most of the rats and mice are running around at night. Yeah. That's all. Their that's food all. supply is out at night. So that's why it's out at night. Exactly. So... If, if you're afraid of an owl or you think it's got some superstitious powers, it doesn't. It's just a bird. And as Temba says, the reason why it flies around at night is because that's when the rats and the mice come out to play. And, mm. they, like, and they like catching those and they like eating them. They are such majestic animals, though. That's the one thing you can say about them is because they've got these big eyes, which some people find scary, but it makes them beautiful. Mm. Yes, they B- big eyes like those, you know, normally in, 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 in you know, the human kind anyways, is equated with beauty, isn't it? Yeah, and it's it's it's, it's like actually a, a gentle. Look at this owl sitting; it's very gentle. The funny thing about the eyes, as you're speaking about it now, most people don't realize that owls, with, with their eyes, they take out two thirds of their brain cavity, mm. not leaving enough space for the brain. So they just more mostly like their hunting machines. They know how to hunt. They have got all the tools to do out the hunting. Mm. They can just pinpoint with with listening to the small voices that are coming around, any crackling uh, happening around in the bushes. They don't need to really see the rats where they are. They can mm. just sense where they are. They can hear where they are. Mm. And then they can mm. pinpoint, fly down, grab them with those powerful talents. So you're saying they've got small brains. They definitely don't have big brains just in scheme about flying onto your house to bring bad tidings, right? <laughs> That's shame. Yeah. I, you know, and the weird thing is when, when, I, when I see an owl like this, it reminds me of my kitties because they also have these big, beautiful eyes. Uh, of, of my, especially my one cat, Jimmy. Mm. It's just absolutely beautiful. What's your favorite thing about about an owl because you and this owl does she have a name Cleo. it's Cleo Cleo uh, sorry Cleo you and Cleo seem very very close what's your favorite thing about Cleo uh, the way they turn their head oh. most people who have this conception that owls can turn their heads all around they can't they can't they can only turn it up to 270 degrees to the left and to mm. the right and I've heard people say that as well that's another reason why people don't trust owls is because they can turn their heads all the way around they can't they're like cunning and they're cunning by a fad it's just young men sir mm. you know like your head catches mm. yes yeah, somewhere around your shoulder but with owls it's not that's not the case it's not the case it, it, again you can try it depending whether he's focusing on something it's like if you if you move something around then let me see if I can if you can do it yeah look at that look at that yeah the, see, uh, now, the head stays still yeah, if yeah. he if he moves his head all the way around 360 degrees, the hair will fall around and mm. run around the floor. Then you have headless owls flying around. Timber, so what you're saying is people should not fear owls. Uh, no, they should not be suspicious of owls. No. Not at all. Please not don't at kill at the owls. Absolutely. There's there's no reason. They It's just another bird uh, that likes to hunt mice at night, not people. They don't come with bad tidings. Mm-hmm. They're just coming around to see if there's mice or rats. 
That really is it. They're not even interested in you. They're not. They're not. So there's the first myth busted on the show this afternoon about owls. By the way, we do have a video we're making right now of our animal myth busters. We will definitely post this on our blog and also photographs of these beautiful animals. I mean, this owl is just so amazing. Next up, Karma Chameleon. Uh, could there be a misperception about chameleons? Really? We'll find out next.